She's a salesperson. She's pretty tough. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is it? It's a giant snake. Snake versus owl. Hey guys, it's Adam K. Swimming Bird, and it's snowing! Welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf, welcome amiibo. It's the 11th of December, and that means snow is finally on the ground for the winter season, and we can do a few new things around town. We could start rolling up snowballs to build snow people, and get some rewards from that. We can also use our net to catch snowflakes, and the coveted dung beetle. I definitely need to get one of those to finish up my collection. But that's all stuff that we're gonna do in future episodes, because today, there's a lot to do and talk about. We've got an update, unexpected new update, but first, I want to scan in one of these amiibo to get a new villager to finally move into Goostin. We can't have any more curlies moving in, so I'm gonna fill up one of the spots with one of the villagers you guys most wanted to see. It's Wolf Link! He's finally come to town. Ah, feels nice to have Midna off my back for once. So he's gonna be rid of Midna as he moves into the village. <laughs> but yeah, we've gotten all the items from him that I wanted. We're mostly done with the Zelda exhibit at the museum, and it seems like it's about time for this smug little wolf to move into town. That's actually his personality. I'm not making any judgments about Wolf Link as a character or anything. All right, so there we go. We're just gonna head to the campground and meet him. And while we move over there, I did wanna talk about a few things. Well, first off, I want to show the winter stuff, obviously, but I did make a promise to you guys last time we were going to do something, play a very special game on this episode. So that's what we're sticking to. And we'll get to it, you know, eventually here. It's going to last all season. Snow goes until like the end of February. So we have ample time to get those snow people moving into town as well. But I wanted to talk about the 1.5 update. So this came out of nowhere. 1.4 is the welcome amiibo update. And whoa, hold the phone. We got Harv over here in his rain snow gear, but he's actually feeding the birds. Ah, finally caught it on video. So let's talk to him. Hey there, how, you? how can I help you? So if we talk to him and say, hey, a Harv, I think we have to do it a few times, but Harv? Oh, you mean me. Well, hey, you're right back at you, friend. Wait, how do we know each other? Is my old noodle really getting that soggy? Oh, brother. Just look at this peaceful little place we've carved out in nature here. Watch the birds flitting to and fro. Mind where you're standing, though. That's right where uh, nature calls. I am a dog, after all. <laughs> He's talking about the birds. It's hard to tell in the snow if they're actually leaving anything behind. Arf. Oh, you be me. All right, let's see if we can get him to... Yep, he still forgets that we know him. Aren't those little yellow birds cute? Just flying free, not a care in the world. Now, I think we could all learn a thing or two from them, myself included. So yeah, we have to keep persisting and pestering him, just like Gulliver on the beach, so that he can give us what we want. Come on, buddy, share those seeds. I know this is a communal campground here, so, you know, share and share alike. Oh, just look at it. Yep, he's saying the same thing. He will give us something, though, if we are persistent enough. Oh, did you want to feed the birds, too? Well, go right ahead. Some places they tell you not to feed the birds, but birds gotta eat, too, man. There we go. The seeds that were previously only available during a Japanese holiday, we can now use. I don't know if we're gonna get rid of them. Let me see. It's called the special other oh, beans. So yeah, they they are from the the holiday where the children throw the beans at their father dressed up like a demon. Look into that if you. <laughs> it's definitely real. I don't know how long these last, but there we go. Oh, they're all flying in. They grab the beans and they ditched us. Harv, I think he's already got summer on the mind. Is this a pina colada back here? What is this? You're interested in my coconut juice. Oh, okay. He's got a garbage can. All right, I'm not gonna bother with that, but we are gonna go meet Wolf Link. I'm gonna save those because if we go on Main Street, we can also feed the birds there as well. And we can, you know, pump this to scare that one away. Make sure you go get food, buddy. Go, go eat. Oh, <laughs> don't wanna rest there in the cold, cold winter. Okay, so Jack is visiting. We did see him previously, so I'm not gonna worry about going to talk to him, but let's go talk to Wolf Link and we've got everything we need at his stuff. I can kind of quickly show what's available here, but all of this is in the Legend of Zelda exhibit I have in the museum. We replaced the clown school. I also got rid of the gyroid exhibit to make something else, but I'm gonna show that in a future episode as well. Oh, you live here. I knew there was a reason I was drawn to this place. I'm Wolf Link. I am driven through so many towns, but none have the tasteful ambience of this locale, and I require taste. No wonder this town was calling out to me, waiting for me. Enough about that, let's talk about me. <laughs> All right, let's get him to join. Hey now, what can I do for you? Hey now, you're an all-star. Let's say you should live here. We've got a couple spots open. Really? Me? Move here. Uh, I was just one thinking about how absolutely perfect it would be to live here. Just think, exciting life in a new sort of foreign land and maybe a new pencil case to go with it. 
Enough babbling. <laughs> I need to go home and start packing. Ruff, ruff. All right. He's got a pencil case. The smug villagers are kind of nerdy, like Graham, my little hamster. So it's funny that they made Link a nerd, sort of. But, you know, he collects a lot of stuff, so that makes sense. All right, Harv. <laughs> Have fun. He's standing up so we could sit in his little seat as well. He has a lot of different animations. I'm really surprised how much work they put into that. Like, he shakes little maracas and dances sometimes when he's feeling it and stuff like that. So I wanted to talk about the update as we head back to my house here. So 1.5, the, the big thing, if you guys, if you've noticed anything different, let me know, because Nintendo, notoriously vague on this stuff. Most of the, the players out there have to find the new things. But the big reason, I think, was they wanted to address this error and it occurred when you receive downloadable items. I think that's an error that's mostly affecting Japanese players because they haven't really done any Jap the, uh, the downloadable items. They haven't sent them over to us, and I hope they still will. That's a good sign, though. Maybe they were waiting to fix that. But the other thing is that there's just small adjustments that have been made to improve the overall game experience. They always, you know, say that in updates, so that is another thing. But, uh, but yeah, if you find any of these small improvements, let me know, please, in the comments, because I'm curious. So we are going to ditch this winter setting for Desert Island Escape. I mentioned it last time. We're headed to the Desert Island. I'm completely changing out of my winter gear into my Explorer's outfit, complete with monocle. So let's turn on the Wii U and get going. And we also have some amiibo to scan in for this as well. So you can use play coins to get your villagers to, to join in. We did that before with Ganon, and these are the last three that failed us in the Desert Island Escape Challenge, but we're gonna try number two again here and see if we can complete it. And I've got new villagers. Nope, we're not gonna use them. So you can use your townsfolk if you want, but it does cost play coins. So I'm gonna save those. I think in the future, once we get Wolf Link in, maybe we could do a whole Zelda themed one or something. So let's scan in. I mentioned to you guys that we were going to have our little pup from Town Hall, Isabel, leading the team. So there we go. Oh, don't want Tangy. But I've got two others that it kind of fit a theme here. I was going for like an all-girls team just to see how they do together. And I'm going to see how this works, if their powers work out. So Isabel can sniff stuff. Mabel has dexterity as a hedgehog. I guess she's pretty quick zipping around. And last but not least, we have the little owl, Celeste. She has the power of flight as an owl, as you would expect. So there we go. This is actually, I like to call this team, I was just thinking about it, Team Gingham and Argyle, because I realized they all have similar clothing styles on with that kind of checkerboard or thatched pattern. So here we go. If you haven't seen Desert Island Escape, definitely check out the other episode, because we got the basics. But the point is, we have to find the materials we need to try to escape this island. We need three logs and a sail. And for my editing sanity, I'm going to keep everything dual screen, because if you guys watched that first episode, it took a lot of work to, you know, swap between screens, but you guys got to see the roulette. So Isabel has a heightened sense of smell. She can detect items in nearby spaces. Ooh, that's going to be pretty useful. All right, so let's look at the map real quick here. We have, I think this is different from the other layout. I think it's kind of randomized the way that it works. I might end up sending Isabel ahead and then, oh, so that's medicine. Okay, I think I'm going to send Isabel around just to kind of see what there is a little bit. Let's just grab that branch because it's there. It's going to help us build tools. I think it's a good start. And then I think since Mabel is faster, maybe we should send her ahead or de dexterity. We'll learn what it does because there's all these different powers depending on the animals. Nimble hands enhance tool use, can make tools in lieu of exploring, can detect materials while exploring. Oh, okay. So since she's kind of, you know, searching out materials and things like that, I might just kind of send her ahead to, uh, to look around here. And then we'll see what flight does, if it'll let us... Oh, there we go. So we're building up our, our foraging supplies. She found a palm tree. Let's see if we can shake the tree and get some fruit here. Hopefully, there we go. Okay, not too shabby in the middle. <laughs> My roulette skills, I definitely need to work on trying to time it. It is kind of tough when it's a fairly random chance. You can still kind of stop it, but it's, it's very tough to do. So I'm gonna do my best to keep that going. And ooh, another stick. Let's grab that as well. But yeah, it, it can be tough to get the right timing. I had horrible luck with Rossetti, but that was fun seeing him fight centipedes and bees and stuff. My goal is to get Isabel to punch a bee. So the power of flight, she's able to fly freely on magnificent wings, even over mountains, but precise or precision suffers a bit, so no landing on adjacent spaces. Hmm. Oh, she, Oh, Oh my gosh, she finally gets to move around and, and fly. And then, oh, we are kind of stuck if we go there. I might actually, 
yeah, let's, let's, since we can build a camp around here, I'm just gonna send her ahead and see, yeah. So she's gonna land, and where should we make camp? Where would be a good spot? Can we make camp at the tree? Because that would be enough for, I think, Isabel or someone to go back, but it also wouldn't be too, yeah, let's see. I want to see what that is. So let's make camp under the tree, and we'll stay there. Maybe more coconut will plop up o overnight, if we're lucky. <laughs> Probably not. I think once you harvest it, it's gone. So what should we do now? Let's check the items we have. I think we only have two sticks, but yeah, I don't think we can do much with those. Can't make any tools with sticks alone. Okay, so let's eat and sleep. We've got two bits of rations here, so we should be okay for a little while longer. They're so cute and they're so happy. All right, good work, everyone. <laughs> Where Rossetti fit, you'd think Rossetti would be a good survivalist and he did do okay. I just relied on his power too much and he failed a lot. We also had Rover and Kix. Kix was just off on his own doing stuff. I think this is a better balanced team than before. So Isabel can sniff stuff out. I kind of think, uh, hmm, maybe I'll send Mabel back and we'll send Isabel forward so I can even see if it's worth going into some of these. Okay, that'll be good. All right. And then next we'll camp a little farther ahead since we'll grab whatever that is. I just want to make sure it's not going to be something we need. Usually it's it tends to be in bushes, I think. Oh, oh, this is a lot of coconuts. Well, four is still better <laughs> than what we got before. Good job, Isabel. I don't know if she just, she's so, inge yeah, she's got so much ingenuity and spunk that it's, she's able to get more food. I don't know. I think we just got lucky with the amount that's, that was on there. Okay. So let's send her back since so she can travel far enough to get all the way over here. Ooh, some string. So that, I think we can make a net or maybe a slingshot. We'll have to see. And she can make a tool. She's supposed to be able to make tools without needing to, uh, to have to, yeah. Can she do that right now? Or no, she's done. Okay. I wonder. Maybe we don't have quite enough. I think I'm just gonna send... Well, you know, it might be worth having that medicine if we can... Oh, she can... Oh, she can't... Ah, I get it now. So she can fly, and she can go even more distance than you would normally, you know, be able to go, but the problem is she can't go right next to it. That's what it meant by the adjacent, adjacent spaces. Okay. So maybe right here would be pretty good if we can. Oh, wait, that's off limits. We'll go right where Isabel is then. And then maybe, yeah, Celeste might be able to make it over the mountain. So she's very imprecise. It's almost like a pawn or something in chess where you have to be, you know, jumping over stuff, or I think it, no, what am I thinking of? I think it's the pawn when they first start out and move. Let's make a fishing rod. There we go. Okay. But yeah, she's got, she's got a little bit of imprecision to her flight, but at least she can travel pretty far with it and go over mountains. Ta-da! All right, so if we head to the water, I did see a fish. We might be able to get something. Let's eat and sleep. Now that Isabel found so many coconuts for Team Argyle, <laughs> should we just be called Team Cute Gals? Instead of, yeah. But yeah, if you look, they you know, two of them have kind of a checkerboard gingham pattern, and then Celeste is just made of, her Her stomach is argyle material. Like, she's been stitched together. Further confirmation that this is, Animal Crossing seems very Pooh Bear-esque, where it's a village where a, a human lives that all these animals are hanging out in. And, oh, there's the first log. Okay, I might actually just grab that, since I think it'll let us detect the other one. There we go. All right, one log down. Two more to go, and the sail, and we can escape out of here. So let's move, and we'll see. There's a rock. She's not detecting that one for some reason. All right, it's Mabel's turn. So Mabel, maybe I should, because I wish I could switch between people, because I'm, I'm thinking maybe Celeste would be better at trying to get to, uh, to do the fishing, but, hmm, cause she's going to fall over there. And then she's going to be able to detect any tools if they're in the air, or uh, materials for tools is what her her power lets her do. Let's get some extra fruit. We're definitely doing well on food here, even if we only get a couple. <laughs> we're, we're doing well. I think my thing is I try to time it to the, the one that is the best, and by doing that, I'm like slightly off and get the one that's worst often. I don't know, it could just be blind luck. So, hmm, rather than discover what the, or grab that, I think I'm gonna try to discover what this is. Oh no, bees! <sighs> Mmm, we don't have any medicine right now, so this is a risk. We could try to shoo them away to get honey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let's try it. We don't have a slingshot or anything. Mabel, with her, her spikes, is gonna try to fight these guys, and, oh, I think we got the most, yeah. That was actually pretty rare, because two-thirds of it was bad. Bees attacking 
and the hive breaking, but ha! She scared away and got the max amount of honey. So there we go, talking about bad luck. We just got a bunch of food and extra points, and oh, she found materials for a tool, as she said she would with her power. Okay, so Celeste, can she make it over to, yeah, she can't quite get to the right spot to fish. I wonder if it would be better to send her over there, and then, oh, she can fish here. Okay, there we go. I think that'll be right. Yep, all right, Celeste, land and use that <laughs> owl ingenuity. She'd probably be better swooping in with her talons, but I don't think, there are fishing owls. Blackest, Blackenstein's fishing owl, I know, is like a huge, cool looking one. Look, her, uh, fish, hurry up and catch it. Okay, go Celeste. She's sleeping all the time, so I feel like she might not do too well. <laughs> it's, you know, it's all on the luck of the wheel. It's not Celeste's fault. But I feel like she's very knowledgeable, but maybe not so great outdoors. We'll see. She can redeem herself. She can still fly really far. So there's fish there. We definitely need to get to that spot. I think maybe if we camp here. Can we camp in the... Yeah, we can't camp in a spot we haven't explored. If we camp in one of these spots where Celeste can fly two over, then she could fly, find one of those. So I think... Maybe this would be good. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. This is tough to time because, like I'm saying, I wanna, I wanna be able to fly. We'll just, we'll just camp as far as we can, basically, because then I think it. I don't wanna base everything off of Celeste flying around. I wanna make sure that the others can get to good spots too. So we're gonna eat and sleep because I don't think we got anything new to craft. But at least that fishing rod could potentially help us. I like how it's in the corner back with the, the pack there. Tomorrow is the day, maybe, that we escape. So how many days, we only have four days left, so we gotta, gotta try to do our best here to get those materials. That is the goal. Finding this other stuff is all well and good, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's very important to try to find those logs. There we go. I think I might move Isabel here and search, and there we go. Can she find anything else? Nope, okay, so the log is there, and we could grab that with Mabel. I'm kinda thinking maybe we should look in one of these spots though because we could be missing oh no well i avoided that before and would have been better to keep avoiding it but oh she made it out man i've got good luck with mabel she is a hedgehog after all so she should be able to scrabble out of a hole okay can she still move here now that yeah there we go and i kind of want to make sure we're not missing anything here what is it oh uh oh that's that's a centipede eek it's a centipede what should i do Fight or flee. I don't know. We've had good luck so far. I don't want to ruin it, but she has a 50-50% chance with her dexterity. Oh, come on, Mabel. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, she's a she's a salesperson. She's pretty tough. <laughs> she got it. Ha, a nasty centipede is no match for me. Her sister, or both of them, are kind of some glaring oversights where we don't have figures of them, unfortunately. Okay, so she's good to go. Yeah, I wish we had, you know, Sable and LaBelle... I really want a Brewster figure. There's quite a few that I'm hoping that we get. She can fly right over the water and grab whatever this is, hopefully. Or, uh-oh. Is it? It's a giant snake. Snake versus owl. Oh, no. Uh, I shouldn't have fought. Why did, man, Mabel had a better chance. I just kind of hit it on accident. Oh. Uh, mmm, focus. Oh, uh, did I? Yes. All right, Celeste. You're tougher than I thought you would be. No, she's taken after her owl buddies in Pokemon. All right, <laughs> Nasty Snake is no match for her. Two wins in a row, nice. Okay, I'm gonna fly over here. Oh, we found another log. So all we're missing is the sail. We're doing good on food. We have two days worth of it. We've got one log discovered that's left, and then all we have to do is find that sail. There's a couple other spots here. I think if we camp, hmm, I'm trying to find a good spot where Celeste could go, you know, hop, 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 yeah. All right, I think that's good. And then we've got all these others around it. That should be fine. We also have some uh, some apples there if we do need food. But I'm going to try to focus on exploring and finding the stuff we need. Can we do anything? It doesn't seem like we just have a single stick. We could play fetch with Isabel, but that's not going to work. Okay. <laughs> Don't insult her. She's, she's basically the mayor. We shouldn't be, you know. She does have a fire hydrant that I built outside the town hall as a private bathroom. But anyways... Man, the, uh, the villagers, I'm still thinking about new ones to invite to town, but I was going to say, you know, speaking of fishing, the fishing competition was just recently, and at the beginning I was like, okay, good, it's a very low, you know, the strategy for the fishing tournaments, you want to make sure you have, uh, 
a, a, uh, a good amount of leeway with your fish. You start small and you build up to get a bunch of rewards. Uh-oh. Isabel is a bad way here. But, uh, well, she's got a decent chance. She's a little more scrappy than Celeste. Let's try it. Oh, oh. Oh, I think I did it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, if I really focus, I think I just have to focus on hitting the right spot and I can do it. These gals are tough. Haha. -ha. But yeah, I was doing the fishing tournament and I started out small. I had a good setup there. But the uh, the problem was that uh, Ribot just like totally messed me up. I went to the island to get a meow coupon. You know, an island like this one with Stonehenge. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. But, uh, but yeah, the, uh, the problem with that was, like, Ribot just really blew me out of the water with a sea bass that was, like, 40 inches. And I think it's because earlier in the day, I saw that Ribot saw me getting money from the money rock, and he walked away, and I think he was jealous, so he just destroyed me in the fishing tournament. But that's okay. We made the raft, and we won! I could have gone for extra points, but I figured, you know, we only had one day of food left. Why waste it? What a great raft! All right! And the gals succeeded where the boys couldn't with Rossetti and the others. I think Rossetti will return to redeem himself, but for now, I have a ton of teams all lined up for future episodes of Desert Island Escape. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. If you want to see more Desert Island Escape, I really enjoy playing it. It's, uh, we didn't even explore half of the island, only 39%, and we managed to do it. Okay, look at, <laughs> I love seeing Celeste so proud, and yeah, Isabel, you know, she, the others I'm not as surprised, but Celeste just seems so timid that, yeah, <laughs> she's just looking so cool as we escape the island, and hopefully they've got enough food to make it back to Gooston. Thank you guys again. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. That's going to be it for today. Next time, I think we'll, uh, we'll go with, with what you guys want to see, but we could play more Desert Island Escape. We could scan in the Squid Sisters. we got so much to do. Oh, you know, we should really focus on getting those other, uh, the, yeah, I said that, but then I'm like, you guys probably want to see the RV Amiibo cards, right? Because those just came out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for more New Leaf. Goodbye.